You are the salt of the earth. But if salt has lost its taste, how can its saltiness be restored? It is no longer good for anything, but is thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A city built on a hill cannot be hid. No one, after lighting a lamp, puts it under the bushel basket, but on the lampstand, and it gives light to all in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, so that they may see your good works and give glory to God in heaven. This is testimony from our ancestors in faith. Thanks be to God. Friends, please pray with me. Holy One, we thank you for your word, which speaks truth and challenge and grace into our lives. Open our hearts and our minds that we might hear what you are saying to us this day. Amen. Jesus says to the disciples, you are salt of the earth, you are light for the world. Salt and light are very interesting things. Even a very small amount of each of these has a profound effect on a much larger whole. Tiny pinch of salt in a dish can bring out all of the other flavors that are there. It has an enhancing kind of quality. If you dump a cup of salt into a dish, on the other hand, you have absolutely ruined it. You won't taste anything but salt. Salt works in small amounts, drawing out what is already there. So it is with light. If you light in the total darkness a single candle, that candle, I am told, is visible for up to a mile and a half away. A mile and a half away. And just a small amount of light makes the darkness not total. It is no longer dark if there is any light. I have a little night light plugged in in our hallway for when I need to get up in the middle of the night. And I'm always astounded by how it is enough light. Even when I close the door and have it only open this much, it is enough light just to not have total darkness. But like salt, if you flood a place with light, so all there is is light, everyone is blinded. You actually can't see where there's too much light. But where there is some light, again, you see what is there. Light's purpose is to reveal what is already there. Salt's purpose is to bring out the flavor of what is already there. Both salt and light are interesting in that their nature and their purpose are almost one and the same. Salt's purpose is to be salty. Light's purpose is to illumine. Jesus says, you are salt. You are light. Who you are, your nature, and your purpose are very much the same. You, and this is true of whoever Jesus is talking to, everyone here, everyone on that hillside that day, you are created in God's image. You are beloved children of God. That's who you are. That is simply your nature. Salt is salty. You are images of the divine. Your purpose is to bring out the divine image by being you in the world. Your gifts with which you have been given are your light to shine. You have been blessed with these gifts so that you may be blessed, so that the God flavor of the world will be brought out and God present in the world will be seen. You are the salt and the light that reveals God in the world, everywhere. Jesus 
like salt and light. God has made each one of us a small thing, a small thing that can make a big difference to a larger whole. Our work is not to overwhelm the word with our usness, to just to be everything for all people. Our purpose is to be us in the world with authenticity, with gratitude, using the gifts with which we have been blessed to bless the world so that others might see and know their preciousness, God amongst them. Jesus isn't giving his listeners or us a new role to play. He's naming who we already are. We don't have to work at becoming salt and light. We don't earn, it's not a reward for doing the right things. He goes on to say, shine your light, be salty, so that the world may see your good works and give glory to God in heaven. Not do these good works so that God will reward you by being salt and light. You are salt and light. You are. Be salt and light in the world, so that others may also know God and give thanks to God. Friends, I want to leave you with these words from Mary Oliver. So every day, I was surrounded by the beautiful crying forth of the ideas of God, one of which was you. in body or in spirit as we sing together go make a difference
When we share what we have with others, we demonstrate our trust in God's faithfulness and our understanding of our accountability to others. When we give of our time, our energy, and our resources, we are participating in God's way of abundant life. Our offering is, a be is beautiful in God's sight. Let us sing as the offering is brought forward. Let us pray. Accept, O God, these gifts we bring. May they reflect our growing faith and increasing love. And accept and bless us, we pray, as we offer our lives in Christ's service. Amen. Let us join together in the new creed. We are not alone. We live in God's world. We believe in God who has created and is creating, who has come in Jesus, the word made flesh, to reconcile and make new, who works in us and others by the spirit. We trust in God. We are called to be the church, to celebrate God's presence, to live with respect in creation, to love and serve others, to seek justice and resist evil, to proclaim Jesus crucified and risen, our judge and our hope in life, in death, in life beyond death. God is with us. We are not alone. Thanks be to God. Please rise in body or in spirit as we sing our communion hymn this morning when we gather at the table.
Please be seated. Friends, at this table, everyone is welcome. This is God's table. It's not St. Martin's table or the table of the United Church of Canada. This is God's table, and it is for everyone. So all who wish to participate in the sacrament are welcome to do so. So how we'll do that, just for those who haven't been here for a while for a communion service, um, you'll come up the center aisle. We have prayer shawls that have been prayerfully made by members of the prayer shawl ministry. So we invite you as you go by them to just lay your hands on them or over them, whichever is more comfortable for you, and just fill them with your prayers and your blessings. And those prayer shawls will be given to folks we may not even know who are in need of some comfort, some care, to, to be reminded that they are wrapped in the love of a community. And then, as you come forward, you will receive from Keith or myself a cube of bread. We just ask that you hold your hands like this to receive it, and we'll place it in your hands. And then you can eat that, and then you will receive a cup of juice from one of our communion servers. You take that and drink it, and then place it in the basket held by another communion server, and then return by the outside aisles to your seat. So the flow goes like this. Let us begin our liturgy of the Holy, Sacrament of Holy Communion. The Holy One is here. God's Spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to God. Let us give thanks to God. It is right to offer thanks and praise. Holy God of light and love, by the light of your promise, you guide your people across the wilderness and through the night. In the light of your presence, we behold your glory and offer you our gifts through the light of your peace. You claim us as your beloved, and joy is our banquet. We give you thanks that you reveal your glory, lighting the way for every traveler, gifting the earth with the, the Prince of Peace, setting a table for all who hunger. And so it is, we offer pr your praise. Holy, 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 holy God, God, power of, of life and love, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna through the ages, blessed is the one who comes to bring your justice to earth. We do what Jesus did the night before he died. He took bread, blessed it, and broke it. And he gave it to his friends saying, take and eat, and remember me. Then he took the cup, gave thanks, and said, take, drink, remember. Eternal God, we unite in this covenant of faith as we break bread and share the cup, giving thanks for your love in Jesus the Christ. We spread your table with these gifts of the earth and of our labor. We present to you our very lives, committed to your service on behalf of all people. Remembering your boundless love for us, we offer you our praise as we proclaim the mystery of faith. Dying, Christ, Christ destroyed our death. death. Rising, Christ, Christ restored our, our life. Christ, Christ will come in glory. glory. Holy God, pour out your spirit on us and on these gifts we share at this table and in our homes, that we may know Christ in the breaking of bread, and that in word and deed we may be channels of your love, peace, and justice in the world. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. At this time, we also remember all those with whom you would have us share your feast. We pray for all who are in sorrow or in pain, all who are ill or alone, all who live with fear, oppression, or hunger, all whom the world counts as last and least. We pray for your church and its buried ministries, for the nations as they strive for peace and justice, for the earth and the fragile web of life we share for our families and friends. We remember especially those who have asked for the prayers of this community of faith. 
Lil, Mary, Amy, Laura, Esther, Christine, Isabel, Bonnie and Ralph, Ken and Pat, Carol and Bob, Mary, Adrian, Maureen and Dale, and those whom we name now in the silence of our hearts. Now let us join our voices together in the prayer that Jesus taught. Loving parent, parent who, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come. Thy, thy will be done, be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive, and forgive us our trespasses, our trespasses as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The bread we eat is the bread of life. The juice we drink is the cup of solidarity. These are the gifts of God for everyone here. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Would the communion service please come forward. Come for all is now ready.
Friends, let us pray. Eternal God, we thank you that you have called your people from east and west, from north and south, to feast at the table of Jesus Christ. Keep us faithful to your will. Go with us to the streets, to our homes, and to our places of work and leisure, that whether we are gathered or scattered, we may be your people. In Christ we pray. Amen. Jesus said, you are the light of the world. Let your light so shine that people around you will be moved by the good things you do to glorify God in heaven. Go in peace. God is with you. Amen.